for more on the G20 summit, we're now joined by our London correspondent, Liu Ge. Hello, Liu Ge. Hi, John Lee. Could you tell us about President Hu Jintao's schedule at the summit? Well, according to the timetable I've got so far, President Hu Jintao will arrive in London around midday of April the 1st. Later, he will meet U.S. President Barack Obama and U.K. Prime Minister Gordon Brown. And later, he will also hold talks with Russian Pri President Dmitry Medvedev. After the President Hu Jintao will join the other guests of the summit to attend the reception hosted by the Queen and Prince Philip. And later, around half past eight, he will also attend the dinner for the heads of delegations at number 10 Downing Street, host hosted by Gordon Brown. On um, April the 3rd, uh, actually, President Hu Jintao will, together with other world leaders, to attend the summit. They will have a, first have a breakfast meeting from half past eight to ten, and then leaders will take family photo before they started uh, start their two major plenary sessions. And President Hu Jintao is also planned to meet Brazilian and South Korean President, Japanese Prime Minister, and Australian Prime Minister later. But uh, I have so far no specific schedule for these meetings, Zhang Ling. And we know the G20 leaders are trying to find a way to end the meltdown. What kind of role will China play during the summit? Actually, media here pay a great attention to China's participation in this London summit. UKC economists even noted that only two countries really matter in this meeting. They are the U.S. and China. Chinese ambassador to UK, Fu Ying, was invited to attend BBC's flagship talk show program and Channel 4's night news program to explain China's stand on this summit. And it is highly expected that, that China could play a more positive and active role in the global effort to tackle the crisis. And as you know, IMF's reform will be one of the main issues this, of this summit. So actually, in the communique adopted in Hoshan, uh, G20's finance minister and the central government, central bank gov governors meeting uh, earlier this month, the so-called BRIC country, Brazil, Russia, India, and China, have affirmed that urgent action regard to voice and representation in the IMF is necessary. So it is believed that at this London summit, the world leaders are definitely beginning to transform the IMF because they know the IMF needs more resources to deal with the crisis like this one. And uh, they've got to set up arrangement for the organization to borrow and they've got to increase the quotas. So this cannot be done without China. So it is uh, greatly expected that China could play a bigger role in this process. Zhang Ling. Thank you, Luca. Thank you very much. That's my colleague Liu Ge reporting from London.